We now work through a second example in which we find a specific power of x inside a binomial expansion without writing all of its terms. The example is the one we have here. We need to find the x to the power of 7 term in the expansion of x squared minus 3x, all of which is being raised to the power of 5. So I'll start by moving this question to the side, like so, and now we can get started. The binomial expansion formula allows us to state that x squared minus 3x, all of which is being raised to the power of 5, equals to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 5 of 5r, that's the binomial coefficient, times x to the power of 2, which is being raised to the power of 5 minus r, times negative 3x, all of which is raised to the power of r. To find the x to the power of 7 term, we're going to find the value of r at which the general term that I'm underlining in green is an x to the power of 7 term. And I usually call the general term tr, t as in term. And I'll copy it just below here, that's tr equals to the binomial coefficient 5r times x to the power of 2, which is raised to the power of 5 minus r, times negative 3x raised to the power of r. Now, before finding the value of r, which leads to this term being an x to the power of 7 term, we need to simplify this a bit. In particular, we need to distribute these powers across these parentheses. So let's start with the middle term that I'm underlining now in gray. We have x to the power of 2, which is being raised to the power of 5 minus r. And this power of 5 minus r distributes onto the power of 2 inside those parentheses. In other words, this equals to x to the power of 2 times 5 minus r. Now, distributing this power of 2 across the parentheses leads to x to the power of 10 minus 2r. And that's the middle term taken care of. We now focus on the last term, this negative 3x, which is being raised to the power of r. Now, negative 3x raised to the power of r, the important thing to remember is that this power of r distributes onto each of the two terms that are being multiplied inside those parentheses. In other words, this equals to negative 3 raised to the power of r times x to the power of r. Using these two results, we can rewrite this general term as tr equals to the binomial coefficient 5r times x to the power of 10 minus 2r times negative 3 raised to the power of r times x to the power of r. Now, the next thing we want to make sure we do is to multiply these two powers of x together. The reason for this is to make sure that our general term only has one power of x inside it. That's going to make our working much easier. So let's go ahead and do that. If we were to multiply x to the power of 10 minus 2r with x to the power of r, the important thing to remember is that we need to add the exponents. In other words, x to the power of 10 minus 2r times x to the power of r equals to x to the power of 10 minus 2r plus r. And that's equal to x to the power of 10 minus r. Using this result, we can rewrite the general term in its simplest form as tr equals to the binomial coefficient 5r times negative 3 raised to the power of r times x to the power of 10 minus r. And that's the formula for the general term of this binomial expansion, written in its simplest form. Now that that's done, we find the value of r for which this general term corresponds to the x to the power of 7 term. And the method for doing that is to find the value of r at which x raised to the power of 10 minus r equals to x to the power of 7. In other words, we need to solve for r the following equation. x to the power of 10 minus r equals to x to the power of 7. And since both sides of this equation are written as powers of the same base, which is x, we can get rid of the x's altogether and solve 10 minus r equals to 7. 
Subtracting 10 from each side leads to negative r equals to 7 minus 10. That's negative r equals to negative 3. In other words, r equals to 3. And we now have the value of r at which this general term is the x to the power of 7 term. So to find it, all we have to do is replace every r that we see inside this formula by the value we just found. That was 3. So let's go ahead and do that. The x to the power of 7 term is t3, which equals to the binomial coefficient 5, 3, times negative 3 raised to the power of 3, times x to the power of 10 minus 3. That's equal to the binomial coefficient 5, 3, times negative 3 raised to the power of 3, which is negative 27, times x to the power of 10 minus 3, which is 7. And this x to the power of 7 here confirms that we found the term that we're after. All we have to do now is calculate this binomial coefficient 5, 3. And I'll go ahead and do that on the right-hand side here. The binomial coefficient 5, 3 equals to factorial 5 over factorial 5 minus 3 times factorial 3. That's equal to factorial 5 over factorial 2 times factorial 3. And that's equal to 5 times 4 times factorial 3 over factorial 2 times factorial 3. And we can see now that the factorial 3s on the numerator and the denominator cancel each other out, leaving us with 5 times 4 over factorial 2, which is 2. And we quickly see that this equals to 10. In other words, the binomial coefficient 5, 3 equals to 10. Now that we have this result, we go back to our calculation to state that t3, that's the x to the power of 7 term, equals to 10 times negative 27 times x to the power of 7. Finally, the x to the power of 7 term is equal to negative 270 times x to the power of 7. And that's the final answer. We've just found the x to the power of 7 term without writing all of the terms in the expansion. And that's it for this tutorial.